Now, as we get back into the swing of back to school, we have some quick and healthy dinners to satisfy the whole family. And Paul, you've stayed with us as well with Trisha Lewis cooking up a storm. Trisha, what have we got for this morning? We have some delicious chilli con carne from the book home, so I decided to whip it up. So I have a few steps done ahead. Um, so I have the onion sorted off with the beef mince. So all the products that I'm using are from Aldi. So Hold it's on a second now. So mm -hmm. why chilli con carne? Is this your idea, chilli con carne? Well, I, lo I love it anyway. We normally eat it with wraps with guacamole, uh, natural yogurt, salsa, uh, so Trish, have some you got cheese the on it. I don't have the wraps, but I have got the three items. Oh, you've got the wraps, OK. Because you don't want to go upsetting Paul O'Connell here. OK, OK, OK. And, yeah, it's made with wine as well, so... Well, this always... one isn't, because I have to be good. I'm not having wine. Yeah, okay. I'm on a journey. I need to figure... It's a wheat morning. Toss, not a bad part, just in case. It's a totally different segment. So it's not that you just don't want to waste the wine? No, 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 no. I have a uh, stock in there. You can do wine or you can add some extra stock, which is really cool with the book. It's very versatile if you have families to cook for or for yourself so you can kind of adapt as you go. And is chilli con carne, like, is this something, Polly, you would make at home or is this yeah. something Emily would...? Well, do you know why this is my favourite dinner? It's because all the kids eat it. Okay. And there's no arguing. Yeah, perfect. There's no arguing. They love it. Like, They're happy when it, this comes out. So. What's it been like during the summer and stuff? You were, you were in La Hinch for a lot of it as well. Yeah. I mean, it was a good family time to kind of spend with yeah. the family and cook up family meals like this. Yeah, it was great. You know, one of the things about camp is you know, you're away for three weeks straight or whatever. You get home for one or two nights, but yeah. you're, you're away for a good while of it. And when I get home, Emily tends to be broken. And uh, so I end up taking over for a little while. But uh, yeah, we did a lot of barbecuing this summer, which is great. It's just easy. Kids enjoy it. And is this, Trisha, like, would this be a, quite a simple meal you could cook midweek, for yeah. instance? Kids are all tired, you're tired, just whack it on. And you can change it, it up, so you can do it with rice, you can have potatoes, you can have wraps, so yeah. you're not having the same meal every day if you are batch cooking and you want to And that's get ahead. it, you can cook a load of that yeah. and you can freeze it or you can eat yeah. it again the next night. And it night. works really well in slow cookers as well, so it's one of those, so, they're so versatile, the recipes. So what have you put into there? You put the beans in as well, yeah. I see. So I put in some kidney beans, some chopped tomatoes, some castor sugar then to kind of counteract the bitterness of tomatoes. Oh, right. And then some oregano just to get a nice kind of herby background. So there's nothing too scary in there as such, but it's all full of flavour, which is exactly what you want if you want to come in, and especially at this time of year when it's getting a little bit colder. Like how much uh, castor sugar would you put in? The recipe is 30 grams, so you're looking at two tablespoons. OK. It's and only then... a little bit and it's enough to like give a good base of flavour to the bottom of the dish. And then instead of the wine, did you just say you just have a stock? Yeah, so I just added an extra stock cube and added the same amount of liquid of wine as water and let that reduce and simmer away until it got nice and thick. And for the, the cookbook, Polly, because it's called Home, yeah. and you've got a load of the rugby guys and girls to yeah. give in their favourite recipes. And is it more, like, is it high performance? Is it kind of healthy meals? Well, it's or it's is healthy it... meals, but it's kind of family meals. Yeah. You know, easy things to do. Um, but it's, it is really healthy. And Morris McGee and the chef, he's, he's, he's known as the no-waste chef, so he tries not the to no waste. waste no-waste chef. Waste right. chef. Okay. Tries to not waste any food. So he, there's stuff about using leftovers and batch cooking and things that will, you know, that you can cook for one meal, you can cook a bit of extra of this because you can use it in another meal. And uh, he's an incredible chef. I mean, the players, the players love uh, the High Performance Centre. We, 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 we check really? out on a Wednesday. The players leave on a Wednesday and he, he cooks kind of his a signature sandwich on a Wednesday. He has about three or four of them, wraps them in tin foil. the boys head away. He, he's incredible. And... Uh, it's it's a great product and he's he's a very cool guy you know he he's once we were doing it with bernardo's he was delighted to get on board um he's from donegal actually so really? interesting oh, no wonder character, he's sound. Yeah. and why <laughs> bernardo's then like what is it that made you uh, want to get involved i, I in suppose it? if you've I, I i did stuff with bernardo's from 11 years ago fergus finley was the old yeah, ceo yeah. he brought me to um a breakfast club in bernardo so if you imagine if you've kids from kind of vulnerable backgrounds, you know, they already have the potential to, to struggle in school a little bit, not to mention if they're going to school with no breakfast. So the breakfast clubs in Bernardo's, they get the kids in before school, they feed them a healthy breakfast. Um, you know, some of the parents might even come in, have a bit of breakfast, learn how to cook a bit of breakfast or help out serving. Um, and these kids go, go into school, you know, with a full belly now and they're better able to concentrate, yeah. they're less disruptive, they're better able to learn. But even things like, uh, 
You know, some of them might come in. Oh, look at this, isn't it? Yeah. I tell you what, this is mine. service. I tell you, whatever with the high performance, Trish, you should be getting you in there. Oh, this <laughs> looks but delicious. Just, just with the breakfast clubs, if, if you imagine a kid comes in and he's the life and soul of the party, you know, he's, you know, he's a cheeky chappy, but he comes in then three days in a row and says nothing and is quiet in the corner. The, you know, the councillors in Bernardo's are able to flag that with, or sorry, the chef or yeah. the, 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 whoever serving the food them. is able to flag it with a councillor in the school and they're able to address it. And it, it's, a, it's a great thing. They've after school services as well. They help kids like, with their homework, so, social we skills. We all know how important, and even from professional sport and top level sport, but anything, Tricia, like mm. a good breakfast. Yeah. Listen, I know we're talking about chili con carne here, yeah. not only because he wants it, <laughs> but breakfast is so, so important and good food. Yeah. Well, it's usually like if you win the morning, you win the day. So can you imagine how awful it would be for like if you didn't have that? So I just think that if anyone can pick up a copy, it's going to a seriously amazing cause. Yeah, they, they feed about 400 kids oh. in the breakfast clubs every morning. Wow. Win the morning, win the day, I'll win the you. afternoon. <laughs> win the morning here. Tricia. Yeah. That is fabulous. Uh, Paul, good to join you again. So give us a taste. What do you think? Oh, God, the pressure. <laughs> Play a melody for the It's great. It's great. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. joining us this morning. Cheers. Thanks.